For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this really fun diamond stitch pattern. This is per perfect for baby blankets because it is really, really textured and thick. So it gives that really nice, warm feel. It's also perfect for things like scarves, shawls, cardigans, or even sweaters. And it's a really easy version of the regular or traditional diamond stitch, which uses a lot of front post double crochets or front post treble crochets. So if you're a person who has some trouble creating those types of stitches, then this one will be perfect for you because we do nothing but single crochets for this project. So it's super, super simple. It's fun to work up and it works up really quickly. To begin this pattern, you can chain up any odd number of chains. So it does not matter what multiple you use as long as it is an odd number. So it's really versatile and you can make it as long or as short as you need to. So for the tutorial, I'll be chaining 11, which is a nice odd number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So from here, you are going to be placing a single crochet in the second hook from your chain. If, you watch, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I prefer to go into the back bump of my foundation chain. But if you want to go through the front, then that's okay too. But we will be placing one single crochet in every single stitch all the way down. And we will be starting from the second hook, second loop from the hook. So that means since I chained up a number of 11, we will end up with a number of 10 single crochets by the end. So there's your first single crochet and you are just going to repeat placing one single crochet in every chain until the end of the row. I've completed placing one single crochet in each row so to begin the next row I'm going to chain one and turn my work. For this row, we will again be placing one single crochet in every single stitch until the end of this row. So if you started with the same number of chains as I did, you should have a total of 10 single crochets. I've completed placing my single crochet in every single stitch. And for row three is where we are going to start the actual pattern. So to begin row three, go ahead and chain up one and flip your work. You are going to be placing one single crochet in this very first stitch. For your next single crochet, you will not be going into the traditional stitch right next to it. Instead, you will be going into the chain space or the chain, the foundation chain of this stitch. So if this is the chain from row two, this is the chain from row one, you're going to go all the way down here to its foundation stitch and you're gonna place your single crochet in there. It's a little bit awkward at first, but as the pattern goes on, it'll become easier. So there I am in my foundation stitch. I'm gonna grab my yarn and pull up a single crochet. And it's helpful to keep your stitches pretty loose here because since we are going on top of single crochets, if your tension is too tight, your project will be really firm and stiff and if you're using this for a baby blanket, of course you want it to be very soft. So try to keep your stitches loose when you are pulling up those loops from the foundation chain. So now you are going to single crochet into the next stitch. So remember you are skipping one stitch because that belongs to the long single crochet that we did down here. So that means you'll be going into this stitch right here and you'll be placing a regular single crochet. To do the next one, again, you will be going into the foundation chain of the next stitch. So there's the stitch, there's the other stitch from the first row and you'll be going right here in the foundation chain stitch and pulling up a single crochet. Then you'll be going into the next stitch with a regular single crochet and then into the foundation stitch of the next stitch. And you'll be continuing to repeat this pattern until you get to the end of the row. So alternating regular single crochets and long single crochets from the foundation chain. 
when you get to your last stitch of the row it will end up being a single crochet from the foundation chain and that's okay it seems a little weird at first because we started with a single crochet but then ended with a long single crochet but in the end the pattern will even out and it will be all okay so that is what row three should look like for the next row go ahead and chain one and flip your work we are going to be placing one single crochet in this very first stitch right here so place one single crochet for the next stitch you are going to be putting your hook underneath this long single crochet that you made in the previous row and you will also be going into the long single crochet of the next row so just like this and then you are going to pull through and create a single crochet again keep your stitches fairly loose here just like that and then you are going to place a single crochet in the next stitch again grabbing this stitch from the long single crochet and grabbing the next one you're going to pull your yarn through to complete a single crochet and then you're going to place a regular single crochet in the next stitch you're going to continue alternating these two stitches until the very end of this row so placing a single crochet in the next stitch grabbing the long single crochet from the previous row sorry right here and right here and completing a single crochet single crochet and since there is no other leg of the single crochet to pull this through we will not be going like this because this is not a full v-shaped diamond we will be placing two single crochets in the end so after placing this last single crochet in the long single crochet we place a single crochet as usual but then we will be ending with another single crochet so you end with two single crochets and that is what the end of your row should look like to start the next row chain up one and turn your work and you will be seeing this sort of half star pattern right here so if you're looking at the first stitch it's right here but if you go a little bit further down you'll see this space right here that has three little yarns coming out of it so you see right here right here and right here and that's where we will be sinking our hook into so after chaining one I'm gonna go in there and place a single crochet keep your stitches fairly loose and then I'm going to go into the next stitch with a regular single crochet I'm going to alternate what I just did here and a regular single crochet by looking for that next half star pattern so I can see it right here so it has little four little stitches coming out of there or four yarns and right here in the middle is where I'm going to sink my hook so after placing that regular single crochet in the top stitch, I'm going to put my hook through here. And if you flip your work over, you'll see that it goes right in between the V right here. So if you're confused on where to put your hook, if you go like this and flip it over, it should end up right in between the V. So go ahead and pull your yarn through and complete that single crochet. Now place a single crochet in the next stitch and then again look for that little star pattern right here double check that it's going in between a V just like that and pull through regular single crochet right after it there's your next star pattern right here So you're going to go into that flip your work see that it's going right in between the v right here 
and complete that single crochet. Single crochet into the next one. Look for the star. Make sure that it's going in between the V right here. And complete the single crochet. And then to finish this row, you are going to end with one single crochet in the very last stitch. And this is what your pattern should be looking like. So this is the back and this is the front. To start the next row, go ahead and chain up one and flip. And you are going to start with two single crochets, regular single crochets. So that's one and two. And then you're coming up on the, the diamond pattern here. So that means you are going to be grabbing this stitch here and the next one and completing a single crochet. You're going to single crochet into the next one. And then again, again, you grab the long stitches down here and you complete a single crochet. Single crochet into the next. Grab the long stitches. Single crochet into the next. Grab the long stitches. And you're going to end this row with a single crochet in the very last chain, in the very last stitch. From here, the pattern continues to repeat, but I'll go ahead and repeat it with you just so there is no confusion. So going back to the beginning of the repeat row, you're going to chain up one and flip your work and you're going to single crochet into this first space. And then you're going to look for this star pattern right here in the very next stitch and you're going to sink your hook into that middle. And if you flip your work, you should end up right in between a diamond. So sink your hook into there and complete a single crochet and then in the next stitch, go ahead and place a regular single crochet. There's the next star pattern right here. Go into your hook. It's right in the middle of this diamond right here, so that's perfect. Grab it and complete your single crochet and continue alternating your regular single crochets with your long single crochets. And you are going to end this row with a long single crochet. So here's the last star right here, right on the very edge. And you're going to go in there and complete it with a, a long single crochet. It will not be going into a V here because there's no diamond pattern back here. But if you are going inside that star pattern, you are in the right place. So this is what that row looks like. Again, this is the back and this is the front. To start the next repeat row, go ahead and chain one and flip your work. You're going to single crochet one into this very first chain or this very first stitch. And then you're going to grab the long stitches right here and you're going to single crochet. Place one regular single crochet in the next stitch, grab the long stitches, and complete a single crochet, and then a regular single crochet. And continue alternating this until the very end of this repeat row. Again, for this repeat row, you will be ending with two regular single crochets. So when you have these two stitches left, go ahead and just complete two regular single crochets. 
and this is what the front of your pattern should be looking like. To start the next repeat row, go ahead and chain one and flip your work. And you're going to single crochet into this star pattern. So it's right here on the edge. I can see the stitches coming out of it. So you're going to go in there and place a long single crochet. Then into the next one with a regular single crochet. Find the next star, which is right here. If it helps, flip your work. Make sure you're going in between a diamond and complete that single crochet. Alternate it with a regular single crochet. Find your next star and single crochet. Find your next star and continue alternating this until the end of this row. And you are going to end this repeat row with one single crochet in the very last stitch. So this is what this repeat row will, row will look like. And you can see the back is coming along nicely. And so is the front. Okay, let's do our last repeat row together. Chain up one and flip. You're going to place two single crochets in the next stitch. I'm sorry, in the next two stitches. So that's one single crochet and in the next one, another one. <clears throat> you're at the front of your pattern here. So that means you're going to grab the long stitch and the next long stitch and you're going to complete a single crochet. And then you're going to go into the next stitch with a regular single crochet. Grab your long stitches here. Then regular single crochet. Grab the long stitches and just continue this pattern until the end. Grab this long stitch and this final one right here. And you're going to end this repeat row with one single crochet. So you'll just continue to repeat this pattern until you reach your desired height. And you can see how nicely the pattern has started to develop here. Again, it's a very easy take on the regular diamond, diamond stitch, which uses a lot of front loop um, with a lot of front post double crochets and front post treble crochets. So this is a nice easy hack, especially if you're a beginner. You can go ahead and complete a diamond pattern with just single crochets. And this is the back. And if you can feel this is becoming very thick, so if you're using this for a baby blanket, it will provide lots of warmth. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next tutorial.